What's up Rebels? Doug here at Pride Conditioning with your Monday motivation every single week. And this week we are talking about getting started now. Ready? Here we go. All right, Rebels. So this week we are talking about getting started now. And what I'm talking about in this video is basically now is the time. You need to stop procrastinating. I procrastinate on all sorts of projects. And usually, you know, uh, you guys see me on social media or you see these videos and, uh, you know, I look super motivated and I'm like, yeah, let's get this done. Let's go. And uh, a lot of times, if you know me in reality, in person, uh, my personality is exactly the same, but uh, often uh, I procrastinate a little bit on certain things. Certain things I'm usually good at, you know, starting and finishing and getting done. Uh, and other things, you know, I, I definitely put off. Uh, I'm also one of those people that starts massive, huge projects and I get a ton of work done at the beginning, and then it takes me a long time to finish the project. But that's projects as far as, you know, uh, website projects or video projects, uh, you know, marketing or construction here in the gym or at home. Uh, what I'm talking about today and getting started now is your uh, fitness goals, is getting healthy. Uh, and I'm going to transition this over to some other aspects of your life, but as I like to do in most of our videos. But what I want to talk about really is just getting started on your fitness goals. Uh, there are a few of you that follow my videos and, uh, you know, obviously we talk about fitness a lot. Some of you, uh, you know, maybe you, you follow these videos, but you haven't really gotten started in lifting or working out or getting healthy. Uh, also, we're dealing with a really, really weird time right now with COVID and Corona and having a lot of gyms shut down. So this is impeding a lot of people's uh, getting started. It is very easy to put off getting started uh, when the gym is closed. You're like, well, I can't go to the gym, so I can't really get started. And we know this is not true. You guys could buy a kettlebell if you can find one, a lot of them are out of stock, I know. Uh, you know, you guys can buy a kettlebell or a bar or some plates, you can pick some used shit up off of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or whatever, uh, and you guys can get started on this fitness thing. Listen, I, I read a story uh, last year about a guy that literally didn't change his diet, he didn't change anything about his life. All he did was he stopped at the gym on his way home watched an hour and a half, 90 minutes of Netflix or documentaries or shit on YouTube on his iPad while he walked on a treadmill at an incline. And the dude lost like 110 or 115 pounds in a year. Here's the trick. The dude never took a day off. He went every single day. Rain, snow, sleet, shine, whatever. Holidays too, he went 365 straight, never missed a day. That was the trick. And, but he said the hardest part was of course getting started in the first week. Once he got past the first week, he was golden. It's the same for you guys. If you guys are at home, right, you need to maybe get your hands on some equipment and then you can get started. But in the meantime, you can do that one hour walk, right? You guys can go out and do that kind of exercise, just that amount of physical activity. My mom is in here on the bike, and this is kind of what I'm getting at. My mom's in here on the bike, she turned 70 this year. So I just turned 40, and my mom's in here on the bike, trying to drop a few pounds. So she's 70 years old, and she's gone in and out of fitness her whole life. And the point is, it's never too late to start. And even if you fall off, it's, it's not a done deal. You just get back on the horse, right? That's how this works. But this transitions over into so many aspects of your life. 
Whether it's finding a new job, learning a new skill, taking on a new hobby, or planning out some sort of adventure, uh, once Americans are allowed to fly to different countries, uh, who knows when the hell that's gonna be, but you know, you can plan these things out and you can get started today. Even if today is just getting started on planning, you can get started today. You know, you can get started in ordering some equipment for your home gym. You can get started and order some software to, you know, learn how to get into coding. Lindsay is learning how to get into different coding things uh, for websites and other stuff and software. Um, Lindsay's also learning different languages. Listen, just get started. That's all you guys have got to do. And the huge point of this whole video is that age is just a number. My mom is back there on the bike, she's 70. I just turned 40, I'm still making strength gains. Listen, you've gotta focus on recovery and mobility, but you can still do it. I don't want you guys to let your age get in the way of you thinking that, you know, this is impossible, you know, it's, it's too late, you know, it, there's, you know, I'm too old. You're never too old. I have plenty of people here in the gym that are 40, 50, 60 plus. I talked to a woman yesterday that is 51 years old and just took up learning Olympic lifting. This is insanity. You hear about people in their 70s and their 80s taking up running you know, which is actually a super high impact exercise, but you can do it, it's possible. If someone else did it, you can do it, right? I'm still making strength gains, I just need, I need to focus on recovery and mobility. If you're over 40, over 50, over 60, you know, you're gonna have to focus on recovery a lot more, and you're gonna have to be very mindful of your diet and a lot of other things but it is never too late. You guys can get in the gym. You guys can start lifting. You can start living a healthier life and you can start learning new skills, taking on new hobbies or planning new adventures. You guys don't let your age get in the way of thinking that these things are not possible or that you know it's too late. It's never too late. Today is the day. So this week, guys, if you've fallen off the horse, get back on it. If you are just in the planning phase and just thinking about it, man, get some words down on paper, get a plan down on paper, make a goal, write that goal down, write down your plan, and get started today. Get started this week. That is your Monday motivation for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace.